We're making good progress here with the fertilizer spreader. I got the hopper attached to the frame here today. Um, you might have saw, first I welded on a base there, cut a hole for the spinner to pop through, welded on the base, and then I attached um, these braces here to stiffen up the top of the hopper. Um, and then with the engine crane, I was able to drop it down and do a bit of tacking and messing around to center up the hopper on the spinner and weld in some tabs uh, to bolt it onto the frame. So, so it is removable. I could have welded it all as one piece, but it wouldn't have been very handy for servicing or maintaining the thing. Um, so yeah, there's three bolts um, and yeah, just well centered on the spindle there. All I've left to do is make some trap doors for letting out the fertilizer here at the bottom using this lever from the original spreader. And as well as that, I just have to remake this in some sort of way. Uh, this just goes on the spindle at the bottom and it shakes up, breaks up any of the clumps of um, fertilizer that are stuck at the bottom of the hopper um, and uh, blocking up the outlet. So we're going to get the hopper off again here um, and I'm going to cut some holes and try and weld on some tracks and then we'll see about getting them all working together. Um, as I said this is probably going to be the trickiest part of the build with this um, mechanism. It kind of fits with the shape of the hopper. It'll, it'll work anyway. We'll find a way to make it work anyway. Um, I've come this far, that's all I have to do. And then she's going to get a lick of paint. Um, I was going to get her dipped, I can't get her dipped. They're only taking essential items um, there at the galvanizers in Tina. So with the current lockdown, whatever's going on, I cannot get it galvanized. It is a shame, it would have been a nice, would have been the right thing to get galvanized with the job that it's at. Um, but I'm going to put loads and loads of paint on it and we'll keep her clean, wash it out every time it's used um, and I'll try and maintain it for as long as I can because I have put a good few hours into it um, it is an unnecessary project as the title suggests yeah. so I'll be looking forward to get this done, we'll see how we shape up thought I'd show you this um, trap door here on the bottom of the hopper I got working um, made two tracks I made a track out of 
these two bits of small angle iron had a three mil spacer when I was tacking them and welding them and the plate there is two mil so there's just you know there was about a mil of um, play in there so nothing's getting stuck um, and yeah that should do the job I just put the one in it had two two little hatches on it um, on the original thing but you know the original ones were all set out for seed and grass seed and doing fertilizer and all sorts of different stuff um, they had a chart they had a chart I think on the original hopper for setting out uh, all the different things and that's what